Hi there. Welcome to your seesaw activity for popsicles part two. This is what the student template is going to look like. So I wanted to show you just right in the middle of the template how to do what you're going to do. So let me make my face a little bit smaller and I'll put it down here kind of out of the way. When you click onto the student template, you're going to be over here on page one. Let me make sure that you can see what it looks like over here on page one, right there. See that little um, little dot? It's sort of like a little pink circle. I'll click on it again. And that shows how to go between the pages. And so the question is, how many popsicles is this class going to get? And how many are going to be left over? You're going to have a bunch of popsicles down here on the bottom, all of down here. Um, and so you're going to need to drag some of them to each of the kids in the class. And so let's see if I want to give Asa, oh, look what I just, I was drawing on accident. So I'm going to undo that. So here's how to undo. See, even teachers make mistakes, right? So because I had the pen selected down here, do you see how I had the pen? I'm going to actually click on the move tool. I was on the wrong tool, right? And so I'm going to click this move tool and I'm going to go right over here and say, actually, I'm going to give this popsicle to Matea. Yum, yum, yum. And then I'm going to give this popsicle to this next kid. There's Natalia's. And you keep going, keep going, keep going. And then finally, after you've given every kid one popsicle each, that's the rule, then you can go over here to the pencil or the pen tool, and you're going to count up how many popsicles are left down here, and you're going to write that right in here in the yellow circle, okay? And then you're going to figure out how many popsicles did this class of kids get. So you may have to count them. You can put little dots as you count them, or you can even write numbers. Okay, one, two. You can decide how you want to keep track. And then put the answer right in here. And then remember, each popsicle has two sticks. That's a big important idea here. So now you have to figure out, hmm, how many sticks did this class get all together? So you can kind of check them off as you go, one, two, or however you want to figure it out. And eventually you'll put your answer right over here. Now I'm going to change out of my pencil tool over here to move, and I'm going to click over here and go to page two after I finish all of page one. As I'm going to go in here and I'm going to make my own class. So I'm going to choose a number between five and ten, and that's how many kids are going to be in the class that you know, that you get to design. And then you're going to draw the people in your class. And you don't have to do a beautiful drawing. It's just a little quick math sketch, right? So in this version, a little smiley face like this is a person because it's just a little math sketch, right? And so here's my little smiley face person, right? So we'll have, there's another person, kind of quick. Doesn't have to take forever. There you go. And then you're going to give them each a popsicle. And how many popsicle sticks are they going to each have? That's right. So here's my two stick popsicle for this person. And you can make it look more popsicle-y if you want, kind of like this. Or you could just show the sticks. The most important thing is that you show that each of the people has two sticks. Isn't that funny? It almost looks like a little person there. So that's a popsicle. So remember, you have to have at least five kids and up to ten kids, but no more. And then you're going to answer the question when you're done, how many popsicles did this class get? And then, of course, how many popsicle sticks did they get? Remembering that each popsicle has two sticks. Finally, you're going to go right over here to page three. And I want you to answer the question, what did you notice about the number of kids and the number of popsicle sticks? What happened each time? And so you can show this using words, pictures or numbers. So feel free to use this pencil tool to show your words, pictures or numbers. Use the pen tool and you can do different colors over here to show some words, pictures or numbers. And it would be really cool if you also wanted to go over here. Let me just click on this other tool and click the microphone over there and say what you noticed. Did you see a pattern? Did you observe how, what happened with the number of popsicles or kids and the number of sticks? I can't wait to see what you come up with. Good job.